So good morning, we are on Bournemouth Beach right now. We could be in LA. This is uh, it's an incredible morning. Can't believe the sun's still out three days into the trip. But we've got the needles over my um, right shoulder. We're coming up to the pier. We're looking for a coffee. It's gonna be a great day cycling in the New Forest. Well, looks like our pathway is uh, blocked. We might have to walk this bit. Did I fancy, did fancy cycling on the um, sand on this? And now we are actually cycling on the beach. <laughs> right, today we have another 50 miles. It's relatively flat today, 600 meters of climbing. We have a ferry crossing at Mudeford, Mudford, Mudeford. However you say it, we've got a ferry crossing there. We're cycling through the new forest. We've got a few gravel tracks and we're spending the night in Fording Bridge in an old police house. So that should be really good. Whew. What a day. I keep on thinking back on it When we escaped with our first real paycheck Wasn't much but we needed less Yeah than we do now We were driving along the coast I felt the ocean breeze on my face Wanted to go as far as we ever could But even though we were broke as hell, I wouldn't change anything. I wouldn't change anything. If I throw a coin down a wishing well, I wish I could feel it again. The way that I felt for you then. Right, we're in Hengetsbury Head right now. Uh, we're just about to catch the ferry. We're not quite sure which way we need to go. I've just seen the ferry as I say it over in the distance there. Uh, but what a spectacular start. We've gone off, off route a little bit. It wasn't the actual planned route, but we could see we could carry on riding along the beach. What a stunning morning to ride along the beach. And now this little bit here is amazing. I'm actually really excited. Here's the ferry, look. Boop, ferry. <laughs> Right, so in case you haven't guessed, we have made our way now to the New Forest. It is stunning here as well. <laughs> this isn't the place I've been to that often. But we're approaching Burley. We've been through Bransgore, it was beautiful. Um, we've now crossed the cattle grid, so ponies, donkeys, and whatever else we can find. We're looking for somewhere for dinner now. 
But just look how good this is. You wouldn't want to go walking in there though, would you, Dip? <laughs> Snakes. Right, so we're in Burley. Deb's just gonna have a, a little walk around to see what's available. Um, I fancy this one behind me, the Burley Inn. Uh, there's another one just around the corner. But it looks like the route that we're supposed to be going on heading out has a road closure. So I don't know how we're gonna get on navigating around that. But first food. So it turned out that the, uh, the roadworks were sending us in the wrong direction in the end. So we found a bridle way. Gonna see if we make it, uh, find our way back to the actual route. <laughs> it's not bad. As bridle ways go, this is beautiful. Like that back on the road. Nice little detour there. So give me, so give me your all. I'll take it, I'll take it to Mars. Oh, I'll stick like glue inside your mind. Just watch me. And if there are any fans of the Mandalorian, this is the sway. We have found a spectacular little road that was straight opposite the Rhinefield Ornamental Drive Road. We're going uphill though, but it is beautiful. And there is no cars, which is a plus. The Ornamental Drive can get a little bit busy with cars. This is amazing. Darren Alf, the Bicycle Touring Pro, will be very happy with these forests. Although the ponies aren't as impressive as the moose he could see on his little jaunts. And I'm out of puff right now. Oh dear me. Oh, if only there was such a thing as a, a sweet dispenser to give you some sweets. Give you a little bit of energy when you're climbing up a hill like this. Oh wow, what an invention. <laughs> we are staying at the old police house in Stuckton tonight. Uh, we have now got about 6k to go and we've got a nice gravel track all the way to Frogham. But day three, or well, day four of riding for me, um, <laughs> a little bit uncomfortable on the saddle at the moment. Just 6k to go though. You ready? I'm ready. Well, I'm looking forward to a shower now then. So a nice dedicated gravel cycle path all the way from them.
that's it. That was one spectacular day on the bike. It's probably my favorite day on a bike because it had everything. Uh, the beach, the gravel, the forest, just an amazing ride. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, <laughs> just, I just need a rest now. But we've got another 50 miles tomorrow. Uh, we're heading to Cranbourne Chase tomorrow uh, to stay at Tisbury, just off the Salisbury Plain. Um, the weather looks good again, so hopefully it will be another good ride. But anyway, thank you for watching. We will see you tomorrow. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And we'll see you, <laughs> hopefully, tomorrow. Right, so the scores on the doors today, we've done 84.2 kilometres, 4 hours 43 ride time, average 17.8 kilometres, but that did include a 10 mile an hour speed limit all along the seafront. And we've done only 587 metres of climbing. Oh, 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 oh,